there's something about clay which is so elemental. So many creation myths refer to the forming of man from the stuff of the world that we live in. It's what we walk on. There's something I think very profound about taking that material which symbolically we see as our origins but actually then making vessels which house the body to take it back into the ground. So there's a wonderful kind of circularity. It's also about making things material and for me that's one of the most important things about ceramics. It's not just a visual art form, it's stuff, it's material, it's something which is tangible and that is so fundamental and often so overlooked within our contemporary culture. So here we are, ideas made material with that wonderful solidity and materiality of clay we have something which is life-size. It is something that you can kind of touch and engage with. I can't get my arms around it, but it's, 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 it has that presence, and that's one of the things of working on this scale. It's to give a presence to things, to pots, that in a way represents the person within them. I felt in terms of articulating the human form, there would be a nice play, an interesting play, by actually having the negative space highlighted. So I've created a very simple and quite severe rectangle, providing a context for this very curvilinear depiction of the human body inside it. This very, very, very potent shape, which is hardwired into our brain. So this is based on a real person. This is a young woman of 24 years old, and this is actually life-size. So here we have the body simplified and reduced down. So we start from a foot, come up through the calf, into the knee, into the thigh, to the hip, to the waist, to the bust. It doesn't have a head, it has a lid, but the lid fits in on the neck. And in that respect, it is still a container, it's still a vessel. If you go back through to any culture that's made ceramics, which is virtually all cultures, all cultures around the world, Pots almost universally have been made to hold the body in death, in both burial but also in cremation. They're vessels. And the body itself is also seen as a vessel, physical container for the soul or the spirit. This is actually the only piece that's quite upsetting to make, partially because it's very obviously for a child, and that's something that I've experienced, the death of a child. We put an awful lot of thought and care into his funeral, in terms of music and the readings, and it occurred to me months later that there's something that had been gnawing away inside. His coffin was mass-produced, a cliché, it was MDF covered in a white acrylic felt with a shiny brass plate. In hindsight, 
I would have liked to have made something for the funeral. And that's one of the reasons why I'm interested in making funerary wear, because it's about art that engages with this incredible ritual, this ritual that is so profoundly important. What we have here is the hottest part of the hill. It's incredibly hot. At the moment it's doing something called a flash firing where there's injections of gas which are changing the atmosphere of the kiln which give a very different colour to the bricks. We're now standing on top of the kiln. If you look 50 yards in that direction, 50 yards in this direction, that's the entire length of the tunnel kiln. Underneath our feet, the temperature is about 1,080 degrees. If we fell through this kiln, we would disappear. We'd be instantly vaporized. We have incredible turbulence and heat. And that's the atmosphere that every brick is fired within. And that's the atmosphere that my, my work is being fired in also. There's an alchemy in ceramics, which is absolutely fundamental. We take this inert material, we, we dry it, and we expose it to heat, to flame. This idea of cremation, exposing the body to fire, going through this alchemical change, echoes and references the process of firing. This is the smallest kiln in the factory. This is what they call a batch kiln, or the baby kiln. I've got a piece of work firing in here. It's a large thrown piece, it's about six feet tall. It's made with a very nice red brick plate. The temperature of the kiln is reading 540. Probably take about three more days to get to top temperature and then a while to cool. So fingers crossed. And how much work does this represent you? Um, this is an awful lot of work. Making monumental ceramics is monumentally slow. You have to work with the material. You can't hurry it, you can't force it. And some of these pieces must be getting on for about half a tonne. Whether they'll survive the firing or not, I don't know. We shall see. Before the light goes, I'd yeah. like to have a look at the finished piece. 